Uh, um, I took the splurge on some money, got a uh, station going in St. Louis, and uh, I've uh, decided that I would take on a little bit of a late night shift. Um, Ryan, the guy who usually covers the desk at night, and who was supposed to be covering me for sickness, he's actually now out sick. So they're getting a backup person in at 10 o'clock. So I've got 45 minutes that i got to run. Uh, we got a caller hang up on Boulder Creek Drive. Hazelwood PD, Cruiser 1, you're going to go deal with that person. Tell them that kerchunking the 911 line is not acceptable. Uh, Palatine Ambulance, we have a ambulance accident at Hicks Road. Uh, six persons involved, triage needed. Elizabeth Trevon. 40-year-old female. Uh, MVA, uh, ambulance overturned. Um, more information to follow. Benjamin Thamotes. 50-year-old male. With a fractured left leg. He is the patient in back that they were transporting. Amanda Quazati, a 32-year-old female, EMS worker. Faith Silvers, 29-year-old female, EMS worker. Stuart Tovar, 53-year-old male, pedestrian, struck by debris. Teresa Quartez, 70-year-old female, smoke inhalation. Palatine ALS Rig 1, 2, 3, 4, Five and six. You six are responding immediately. Uh, location is uh, South Hicks Road over by uh, Northwest Recovery Auto Wreckers, uh, District 211 Academy North Building, uh, nearest intersection, Illinois Avenue and South Hicks. We'll have police over the secured area momentarily. Stand by. Palatine PD Unit 1, you are responding. Please provide security to the zone. Palatine Heavy Rescue Vehicle 1, PFD South, you are responding. Provide rescue equipment as needed.
Hazelwood PD Unit 1. You're going to be going to Ballerine Lane. There's a disturbance of peace being reported there. Additional supports are needed at the South Hicks Road Ambulance Accident. Palatine Heavy Rescue Vehicle 1 is requesting a fire engine. Engine 2 South, you're responding. Palatine PD Unit 2, you're going to need to shut down both lanes of the road. Inbound and outbound lanes need to be closed. Hazelwood PD Cruiser 6, you are responding to St. Louis Lambert International Airport. A uh, cargo plane fire with oil leak. Uh, oil is leaking from engine 3. The aircraft is on fire. Extensive damage to cargo on board. And yes, I know I said St. Louis Lambert International Airport. <laughs> Airports! Vehicle fell into a sinkhole. Uh, PD support required. Hazelwood PD Cruiser 3, you are responding. Uh, Narragansett Drive. Over by AAA Nail Spa, there's a sinkhole with structural damage. No injuries reported. Hazelwood PD Cruiser 2, you are providing security to the area. Got transports ringing up in uh, Palatine, I think. Elizabeth Stravon with head trauma. She's being transported to Northwest Community Hospital. Northwest Community Hospital, please be advised you have six patients incoming, all requiring trauma care. Have C pods ready. Stuart Tovar, pedestrian, struck by debris, metal, and glass. Metal and glass fragments embedded in his body. Northwest Community Hospital receiving. Benjamin Thamotez, 50-year-old male. Fractured left leg. Still just a fractured left leg. He was well secured in the ambulance stretcher. He'll be transported to Northwest Community Hospital. Faith Silvers, EMS worker. Blunt trauma to chest and abdomen from unsecured instruments in the back of the ambulance. She'll be transported to Northwest Community Hospital.
Teresa Cortez. Smoke inhalation, severe lung damage. She's being transported to Northwest Community Hospital Trauma Unit. Amanda Quazati. Large piece of glass embedded in head, open head wound. Direct to trauma OR. OR number nine, Northwest Community Hospital, surgical alert. Northwest Community Hospital, surgical alert. Northwest Community Hospital, surgical alert. OR nine. There's our convoy of ambos. <laughs> Northwest Community Hospital getting smashed. Hazelwood PD Cruiser 1, you're responding to an ambulance accident situation over at Blackwood Drive. Uh, all medicals have been transported out of the scene. Uh, HRV and patrol cars still needed. Person pinned under a tanker trailer, hazmat going to be needed there. Wildfire, don't have uh, FD vehicles available. Lost child, uh, patrol car required, Hazelwood PD Cruiser 4. You're responding to a lost child at Red Fair Drive. Child is a 10-year-old uh, male African-American. He's been wandering the streets. He um, finally came up to a corner household, knocked on their door, and asked them to call the police. We need you guys to go over there, identify the child, and identify his parents if possible. Proceed with ID and return of the child.
West King George Court, apartment building, apartment, uh, looks like that's apartment 140C, hemorrhagic stroke. Fiona Quinati, 24 year old female, heavy smoker. Palatine ALS rig north, you are responding. Stroke alert. Hazelwood PD, all cruisers immediately respond. We have an officer down at Cutler Drive. I repeat, officer down, Cutler Drive, all units respond immediately upon availability. Hazelwood PD, cruiser one, you are awaiting a uh, heavy rescue vehicle. Uh, Hazelwood PD, cruiser one, clear out, go to Cutler Drive immediately. Hazelwood PD, Cruiser 2, clear out, go directly to Cutler Drive. Hazelwood PD, 3, cruise to Cutler Drive. Hazelwood PD, 4, as soon as you get that child ID'd, get that child on a Uber or into another police vehicle for return to their home. Squad 24 will be transporting the child back. Our unit will be reporting to the officer down situation. Implant defibrillator at Target store, a worker, uh, their defibrillator went off. Pippa Tarveze, she is a 32-year-old stalker.
Her implant defibrillator detected PVCs and AFib. Galatine ALS Rig 4, yo responding. something going on in Chicago. We got two phones in Chicago going off. Three of them. <phone rings> Office 531. A glass worker was finishing their job. Uh, evening emergency window replacement dropped a uh, window pane and the window pane shattered uh, glass embedded in left hand Wanda Lawton 29 year old female glass worker Chicago ALS Rig 4 Loop Station, you're responding to uh, East West Quincy Street, uh, just uh, next door to the Everett Dirksen Courthouse. Ward A. Montgomery Park. A uh, person had a knee replacement. Uh, knee replacement is exhibiting serious signs of infection. The person collapsed while walking. Uh, there is metal, blood, and it's a really gross situation. 653 North Kingsbury Street. Uh, Riku Schmerke. He is a 38-year-old female. Chicago ALS Rig 8, Northwestern Medicine. You are responding. You'll be taking him to Northwestern Medicine. Direct to OR. He's going to O5, that's Orthopedic Operating Room 5, O5, Operating Room Alert, O5, Operating Room Alert, O5, Operating Room Alert, Northwestern Medicine. South Jefferson Street, person was injured in their vehicle. They hit a pothole, uh, smashed their head on the roof of the car. One Sophia Torvez. She is a 58-year-old female. Chicago Road Maintenance is going to have to get over there and fix that pothole. She's likely going to be suing them. She'll be suing the Roads and Sanitation Department for... <laughs> She's going to be suing for medical bills. Uh, 328 South Jefferson Street, Chicago ALS Rig 7, you're on it.
Wanda Lawton, 29-year-old female, going direct to Trauma Bay. Wanda Lawton going direct to Trauma Bay. Northwestern Memorial Hospital receiving. <phone rings> OR alert, orthopedics, five. OR alert, orthopedics, five. OR alert, orthopedics, five. Northwestern Memorial, your receiving patient. Riku Schmerke, 38 year old female. Ambulance is inbound about uh, one and a half minutes out with patient going directly to Galter. Fiona Guanati, heavy smoker of cigarettes at age 24, had symptoms of a stroke. She's going direct to CT scan. Fiona Guanati has been rerouted to stroke unit at Good Shepherd.
KC Automotive person has accidentally inhaled fumes from a unknown bottle of automotive chemicals. The person lost consciousness and reawoke. They do not know what they sniffed. Maury Gomez, a 34-year-old female automotive worker. Palatine ALS Rig 3 South, you are responding. 138 North East Northwest Highway over by Casey Automotive. Uh, Celtic Park, a person was working on electrical equipment in their home on the far north side of Rowling Road. The uh, left side house immediately before you hit the Celtic Park. A uh, person was working in their electrical utility panel. Uh, got zapped by the electrical utility panel. Uh, Emily Otley. She is a 40-year-old female. Palatine ALS Rig 1 North, you are responding. Over at the Speedway Gas Station, North Rand Road and Baldwin Court, Williams Drive intersection, Olivia Edelson with chest pain, severe, so severe she cannot drive her car. She uh, was fueling the car up and all of a sudden she felt like her chest was being crushed by a vice grip. Suspecting a myocardial infarction Palatine ALS Rig 2, you're responding. Palatine Speedway Gas Station number 2 on Rand Road, Speedway South. Sophia Torvez struck her head on the roof of her car. Large pothole did not need transportation to the hospital after evaluation by EMS. She was treated on site with mild painkillers and told to follow up with her physician tomorrow in the office or on Monday. A uh, person was on their way home after working at the Jardine water filtration plant. Their current location is uh, westbound East Ohio Street. Uh, they've pulled their vehicle over.
Karen Jacqueline. Uh, correction, Carolyn Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Carolyn Jacqueline. Abnormal rhythm not otherwise specified. Her implant defibrillator did administer a shock. Uh, Chicago ALS Rig 8, Northwestern Medicine. You'll be responding. She'll be going direct to cath lab. Uh, tree trimmer over at the South Columbus Drive Roosevelt Road intersection. Person was loading up their truck. Uh, person is Lily Fontanez. Deep flesh wound to her right foot. She dropped a non-running chainsaw onto her right foot. Chicago ALS Rig 6, Loop Station, you're responding, South Columbus Drive. Emily Otley, going direct to Trauma Bay, Northwest Community Hospital. Moderate electrical burns to both of her hands. Uh, there was a minor cardiac arrhythmia when we arrived. She was electrically cardioverted. She's going to be transported to Northwest Community Hospital trauma pod. Olivia Adelson, severe chest pains. At the Speedway gas station, they uh, ran a five lead ECG. They see uh, possible signs of a STEMI. So we're gonna be transporting her direct to cath lab. Valentine ALS Rig 2, you're going direct to Cath Lab, Northwest Community Hospital. <laughs> East Juniper Drive, Jack Gonzalez. Uh, probable infectious disease outbreak.
Symptoms for COVID-19, uh, high fever, coughing, and chest pains. If he tests positive, he'll be going to to the COVID-19 unit at Northwest Community Hospital, Palatine, ALS, Rig 5, North, you are responding. Maury Gomez, automotive worker, 34-year-old female, chemical intoxication, she was exposed to a very high concentration of automotive starting fluid. It caused her to have syncope. Um, as you know, the uh, chemical can cause people to faint. She's going directly to a general emergency pod. Northwest Community Hospital receiving. See if we got calls up here in New York. Oh yeah, we got calls. That one's handled. That one's handled. That one is handled. That one is handled. It's kind of strange that we haven't received any calls. Okay, yeah, from the looks of it, we've had no calls. Uh, NYPD, Wall Street Cruiser 4, and uh, FDNY, Engine 4 platform, your response is needed over at Pier Number Battery Park, Brookfield Place Terminal. Medical emergency on boat. Power line struck by lightning on Navy Pier. Power line fell down and struck four people. Four people have electrical injuries. Valtteri Sokolov. Fuck off with your fucking screen time limits. Excuse me, stupid computer. Stop trying to run my life. Fuck off.
Volteri Sokolov, 40-year-old female, electrical injury, traumatic. Electro-traumatic injury. Direct trauma potted NM. Maria Zanderson, 30-year-old female. Amara Handelez. Correction, Amanda Handelez, 50-year-old female. Carl Persenkes. A 64-year-old male. Chicago ALS Riggs 1, 2, 3, and 4. Where's my other rig? Uh, fine. Loop station for uh, one, two, three, and four. You guys are responding. Chicago Fire Department engine three, engine company 42. And uh, Chicago Fire Department engine six platform. You guys are responding. CPD District 18, Unit 3, you are responding. Jack Gonzalez, positive for COVID-19, being transported directly to the COVID-19 unit at Northwest Community Hospital. West Denton Avenue and North Smith Street. A uh, person having difficulty breathing, no history of asthma. Nicholas Weimer, a uh, six year old male. Palatine LS Rig 8 North, you are responding. North Smith Street. You're looking at a apartment unit. Uh, apartment unit 205 in building A. Karen Jacqueline implanted cardiovert defibrillator activation abnormal rhythm con converted by the defibrillator. Uh, we printed the strip from her defibrillator. Um, we're going to be transporting her directly to the cath lab. Northwestern Memorial Hospital, Cath Lab Alert. Northwestern Memorial Hospital, Cath Lab Alert. Northwestern Memorial Hospital, Cath Lab Alert.
North State Street at the Chicago L station. A uh, brawl broke out. Natalie Yarvez, 15-year-old female. She was successfully rescued off of the third rail. Severe electrical burns to her back. Difficulty breathing, no pulse, CPR is being administered. They are also preparing the AED. Chicago ALS Rig 5 loop station, you are responding. They have a return of spontaneous circulation. Defibrillator worked. She'll be going direct to uh, burn unit. Lily Fontanez dropped a non-running chainsaw on her right foot, deep flesh wound. She's going directly to the trauma pod in Northwestern Memorial. Maria Zanderson, electrotraumatic injury, direct to trauma pod, 30-year-old female, Northwestern Memorial, you have receiving. You are receiving four electrotrauma victims. Valtteri Sukolov, 40-year-old female, electrotraumatic injury, direct to trauma pod, Northwestern Memorial Hospital, receiving. Amanda Hendelez, 50-year-old female with traumatic electrical injury, going to Northwestern Memorial Hospital. Chicago Fire Department N4 Speedy, your assistance is being requested by Engine 3 over at the 600 East Grand Avenue Navy Pier downed power line. We will be doing a full day of dispatching tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and uh, begin shutting the phone lines for the night. We will take all final calls now. And I expect to be up early dispatching tomorrow. East Preserve Drive, East Mosley Dr Road. A uh, person was found unconscious, not breathing. A 71-year-old female. 
Hannah Cole. Sudden cardiac arrest. CPR is being administered. Palatine LS Rig 1 North. You're going to be responding with defibrillator. Perform defibrillation immediately. Nicholas Weimer, difficulty breathing. They uh, actually found that he swallowed a toothpick. Uh, toothpick is in a dangerous location within his lungs. He's going direct to bronchoscopy at Northwest Community Hospital. FDNY Heavy Rescue Vehicle 1 and in Company 15, you're responding to East Houston Street. A animal has become stuck in the walls. It is a medium large breed dog uh, located at the New York College of Health Professionals dormitory building. And my New York ALS rigs one, two, three, and four. You're responding to Newark International Airport. A aircraft has overrun the runway. New York ALS rig five, you're also responding. Blake Zellmeyer, 29-year-old female. Molly Cantrez, 48-year-old female. Valeria Uter, 61-year-old female.
VT Gontes, 51 year old female. Audrey Vandez, 71 year old female. Owen Bandovit, 40-year-old male. Donna Yarbrough, 59 year old female. Owen Salvak, brother of Nathan Salvak. Owen Salvak is a 39 year old male. Nathan Salvak is a 42 year old male. Joshua Vanderson, 69 year old male. Carl Pantrakes. 41 year old male. More details inbound.
540 North Dearborn Street. A party at the post office. That's an unusual place for a party, but all righty. Party at the post office in an hour and 51 minutes. Uh, C P D Unit 3. You get the honor of going to a party. Chicago ALS Rig 3. You also get the honor of enjoying a party. Have fun. Never mind. Party's already covered by other security providers. You guys don't need to go. You're going to turn to base. CPD District 18, Unit 3. Chicago ALS, Unit 3.
soon as we clear out this aircraft situation in New York, we will be closing and handing off to Jimenez, our uh, backup operator for Ryan. Erica will be getting the day off tomorrow. She'll appreciate that. Because I'll be doing my usual daytime work. New York ALS rigs one through five. You guys can cancel response on that airport. They already have uh, all the medicals cleared out. They brought over choppers. New York ALS Rig 1, I want you to stand by on the site just in case something else goes wrong there. NYPD Wall Street Cruiser 8, you are going to get a out-of-control leaf vacuum back under control. <laughs> I thought I would never be dispatching a police cruiser over a leaf vacuum, but here I am dispatching a cruiser over a leaf vacuum out of control. East 29th Street. Over by the Churchill School and Center self parking area. Everything in New York is covered. Our uh, Ambo's going into the airport right now to provide backup just in case something goes wrong. And uh, Ryan says that he will uh, hand everybody their clock out pin numbers. So I just got to double check that everybody is in their uh, situations where they need to be. But from what I can see, it looks like we are ready to uh, clear out. Yep, we are all clear. Our Hazelwood PD Cruiser 6 is located on site at the Cargo aircraft, uh, New York LS rigs two through five are returning to base. 
Uh, New York Rig 1 is currently at the aircraft off runway situation. Uh, Wall Street Cruiser 7 is located at the light aircraft crash on roadway. And NYPD Wall Street Cruiser 8 is en route to the leaf vacuum out of control situation. Alrighty, so our sudden cardiac arrest patient, Hannah Cole, is being transported by her husband to another hospital. She refused ambulance transport, um, which we really didn't agree with, but we'll let her husband handle her. We did successfully get her back to having beating heart, so... We can't force her onto one of our ambulances. If she wants to be transported by her husband elsewhere, she has every right to be transported privately. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, from the looks of it, I believe that everything is now a open and shut clay case. So uh, we're just going to leave our... Uh, ambulance at the uh airport at the uh 
New Jersey, Newark International Airport, uh, standing by. Um, I uh, see if they need any. Uh, they need uh, foam at uh, 43 3rd Avenue. Dangerous goods truck accident. We'll send over a couple foamers. FDNY engine 2 speedy. Engine company 15. Engine 4. Engine 3 speedy. Engine company 15. Engine 1. Engine company 15. You guys are responding. We got 75 gallons of foam en route. FDNY Engine 4 Platform, you are going to West 9th Street, Urban Farm Fire. FDNY Engine Company 15 Battalion Chief, you are going to Huron Street, uh, Lake Huron Bridge. Uh, fuel was spilled into the East River. Alrighty, that's going to close things up for tonight. Uh, the rigs that are currently out there, Ryan's going to handle them getting returned back to base when they're done with their work. I will see you all tomorrow.